Welcome to a 5-minute tutorial on how to color grade in Capture One. I have made a lot of videos about color grading in Capture One and this should be the easiest one for me because everything is right in place. So without much ado, let's just get started in color grading. I'll quickly like to fix my exposure here by reducing this all the way down to say minus 65. And I'm going to push in my whites because I've reduced my whites, right? And I love it this way. I love how the tones are. I love the colors in the image. I'll come into my curve and come into my luma just to make the skin a little bit softer. I mean, we're trying to fix the skin before we go into coloring, right? So open up my shadows in the luma curve, create a reverse S curve. And when I'm done with that, I'll push in some blacks just to bring back the contrast and reduce my brightness. And I have a very soft looking skin come into my refine and remove sharpening. I usually don't like sharpening in my images. I'm done with whatever it is I have to do with the adjustments. I mean, we can come back later. So let's just jump into the coloring. In the coloring, I'm going to reduce the Kelvin a little bit just to have some cool tone to this. And in my color balance, I'm going to play around with the shadows, midtones, and highlights. Move this into the cool tone just to you know create some separation so i'm going to exaggerate the cool tone right figure out which one i want to put do i want to push in more purple or more teal so i think it's a creative choice i'm going to keep it here and reduce the exaggeration come to my highlights push it into the greens exaggerate it and reduce the exaggeration beautiful and with the midtones, I'm just going to warm it up, make sure it warms up equally, right? So I'm going to keep it here, bring it more into the red oranges than the green oranges. Beautiful. I love whatever it is I'm seeing. The next thing I can do is to make sure some colors are popping. When I was shooting this in the studio, this didn't look green. So I'm going to pick this color picker to hit on it and it gives me an automatic green and I'm going to change the hue towards the cyan region, making it look beautiful. But then our outfit gets affected, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to go into the advanced, hit the outfit, make sure I see whatever color is selected, beautiful. Just the outfit and a little bit of the background is selected. That's not, that's not a problem because majority of the background has been sent into the cyan region. Then I'll make sure it's emerald green instead of bluish green so let's send it back into the greens and i love it pop up some light into this and a little bit of the saturation we have like two more minutes to go what next what next you know what let's just add another level of color grading so cg this is me being creative with the other tab i'll come back into my color balance tab this time around when i was pushing this i enjoyed when i saw this in the purple so i'm going to exaggerate it uh, exaggerate that cool the highlights this time around and add a little bit of coolness into the midtones and i have this creative you know great next thing i'll do is to reduce the opacity just because i don't want it to override the previous one i did and this is the before after adding the creative color grade and this is after adding the creative color grade i love where the skin is sitting i would want to reduce the highlights a little bit right and you know a little bit of the brightness also push some contrast back into this and there we have it can i add a little bit of vignette vignetting always does the trick right beautiful so this is a quick before and after before and after before and after i love the direction i have sent this grid and this is just to teach you guys that you can quickly edit in capture one i made a video about how i shot this image i'm going to link it up here so difference between the white box and the silver box and figure out which one i used in capturing this image i'm also going to sell my presets to you my color styles i have used one to color grade one of the images and i'm sure you see them on instagram so yeah this is one of the images i chose to color grade with my color styles and if you're wondering where you can get them a link will be left in the description box below this is the before and this is the after i love the direction of how 
the color grading sets this particular image and thank you so much for tuning in and i know it's been quick it's been fun and i hope you learned something new i'll see you in my next video peace